What do you mean by sleeping? Yeah. The way you lead put anybody to sleep. <laughs> Maybe in Italy, a second fiddler leads the orchestra. But not here in Vienna. Oh, but in Italy, the conductor, uh, he conducts. If you would get that girl of your brain, maybe you'll be amount to something. <laughs> Only follow you, eh? Everything with you is a joke. The special, uh, your conductoring. Something happened? No. I was lonesome for you. Yeah, and I was dreaming about you. I was dreaming that uh, I was conducting my own little operetta. And you were the star. Oh, it was a beautiful. Tony, isn't that Herr Klippack? Wouldn't this be a good time to suggest my singing here? Uh, you don't want to hear about my dream. You want to sing in a cafe. I tell you, Leo. The cafe is no good. It's a cheap. Too much smoke and noise. And all this hurt your voice. You've been playing in cafes for years and it hasn't spoiled your playing. Well, no, it doesn't spoil altogether, but it, it's amazing to smell a little funny. I want to get someplace. Look, only one dress, no ring. Someday I buy you a ring. Nice little house in the country. With the flowers and birds and family. Italian style. Oh, Tony, he's coming this way. Who? Oh. Here, please, Dad. Oh, please introduce him to me. Oh, excuse me. Hey, back. This is uh, Fraulein Liliano. She got a beautiful voice. I trained her myself from so big to so big. <laughs> uh, you see, without a Tony Mello, he can do nothing. Always I have to call you. From there you go too far. Yeah. <laughs> when I go, that's going to be far enough. <laughs> if you'd only give me a chance. But uh, for a cafe singer, the voice is not enough. Do you think you could please the uh, patrons? Why not? No, 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 and the wrong must make me tender. Oh, perhaps I should. I wish I could. But I'm so good. I'm sorry. At the proper time, Monsieur, it will seem to be to show you love me so not you then I'll never say no, 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 no What are you bowing about? It's my prodigy. What? My prodigy. <laughs> oh, Fraulein. 
Very nice. That was very nice indeed. I make only one suggestion. A little more body in the singing. Ah, there are some people who wish to meet you. Die waren brach. Oh, die waren so schön. Das ist schön. Ich denke, es ist besser, dass wir uns mit ihnen sitzen. Sie würden sich freuen. Ich werde mich sehen, etwas zu trinken. Bitte schön. Sieh hier. You can't serve it to your customer like you serve the winner schnitzel. Well, go run your scales, now run my business. Oh, Tony, I'm so thrilled. It was a wonderful evening, wasn't it? I didn't do so badly, did I? You are proud of me, aren't you? Yeah, but I have a different ideas for you and me. Oh, I know. But that'll come later. You will compose and conduct and, and I'll sing. But now's a chance to do something. Come on. Say you're happy. I'm happy, but uh, maybe you're going to forget about it, Tony, the second he fiddles. Uh, forget my teacher, my friend. <laughs> come on now. Tell me you're happy. Yes. Yeah. I'm happy to hear you singing. Oh, young Jack Snipes. You have no respect. You have no... Oh, it's you. Lily, I want to ask you something. Come in. Oh, Lily, two American gentlemen have asked to meet you. All right, I'll be right out. Good. No. Hey, uh, listen. It looks bad for a musician to be hanging around the artist's dressing room. They look about me to bring her here to you, eh? Tony, don't argue. Herr Kripat knows best. And I know nothing, eh? I'm no longer Tony the friend of the teach. Oh, Tony. You don't listen to me. What I teach you is all I'm going to put. You don't sing for the ear, you sing for the eyes. Well, I seem to be getting along. For what? For what? Well, I'm going to tell you. There's plenty of girls in the street with the head upside down because they make a little success. Oh, stop preaching. I can take care of myself. And that means you don't need me no more, eh? Well, if you want to put it that way, yes. I'm sick of being told what to do, as if you own me. Yes, and I'm sick of myself, plenty sick. Pick up a lady from my pal. We've got a nice, quiet little place. <laughs> well? Billy. Tony. Friend of yours? Say, what's the big idea? Billy, come with me. I want to talk with you. No. You heard the lady. Come on. That's all right. Don't push. Come on, go ahead. Don't push. Don't push. Don't order me around. I'm not one of your waiters. Oh, who are you? I can get along without you very well, too. What? You heard me. You're finished. Good night. You all right? Good night. Gentlemen, sit down, please. I'm awful sad this happened. I'm sorry. But these foreigners are all alike. You're all right. No sane man would make a scene like that. Well, I said I was a sorry. Well, if that helps now, after both discharged. Yes. Clay, back. I take it back again. He liked your shape. As for me, I'm going away. The sooner, the better. Never see me again. I hope not. I'm going to America. Oh, the fool I've done go a long time before. I got friends there. Maybe they give me a start. You can't stay in America. You're a foreigner. Who, me? I'm an American citizen. I come here to study. Then I meet you, I stay. You don't need me no more. I'm going back. But believe me, 
I don't play no more that second fiddle. From now on, I'm gonna make something out of myself. You're gonna read about me. <laughs> Tony Mello, the great conductor. Tony Mello, the great composer. <laughs> well, what about me? You're gonna be all right. You take care of yourself, like you say. But suppose I'd rather go to America with you. Don't make me laugh. You go to America with me, you better marry with me. Well, you might ask me. Kid, you mean. You mean to tell me you change up your mind? You marry with me? <laughs> bambina. Bella. Bambina mia. <laughs> At the San Francisco, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. That's before they was quick, she was uh, short, you know, now it's tall and building, right? No thank, we just come make a little uh, visit with Mr. Warner. Oh, just see that gentleman over there. I'm the man who telephoned. Oh, you, Mr. Mello. Mr. Winner's expecting you. Just a moment, please. Say, who's the, the leader? Eddie Martin. <laughs> you plan with this stick, Bombay? Tell me. I bet he gets a lot of money. I bet he gets a lot of exercise. Listen, girlie, what's a good thing to do here tonight? I don't know. I'm a stranger here myself. I know, but can't you and I, uh... <laughs> Thanks. That bag saved me a nickel. Every time there's a stranger in town, I put a nickel in the orphan's box. You know, by the end of the year, they ought to have a Steinway Grand. Well, well, well. Is this Tony Mello? Me. <laughs> Goodness. Gracious, what a man you grow to be. <laughs> you know, the last time I seen you, you was just, just grass high to a knee hopper. Knee grass to... By golly, I can't believe it. Welcome to America. <laughs> you know, when you said who it is on the telephone, well, I could be knocked down with a sledgehammer. Little Tony Mello. <laughs> That's a big now. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Meet my wife, uh, Mrs. Mello. I'm delighted to meet your acquaintance. Yeah, Louis, please. Tell Burke to serve dinner in my food. Tea first. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think you like our tea. <laughs> we, we get it right off the boat. <laughs> Come on, we go in here. I'll show you the base. This is, this is the shake room. <laughs> hello, Sergeant. Oh, hello, Bob. All right. Snoop around to see that we don't violate Mr. Wolster's 18th Commandment, huh? No, no. <laughs> I know you don't serve anything stronger than tea. Yeah. But just dropped in to have a laugh with the nice little girl in town. Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye-bye. Say, <laughs> that fella likes you putting with him. Say, Molly, where are you staying? Uh, is there uh, some vacant apartments, Jan? Sure. This is Molly. If you've got ten cents left when you come out of my restaurant, she takes it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Molly, listen. I want after a while that you take the folks over to where you live and pick them out a nice, new, clean vacancy. Oh, you? I'd be glad to. Yeah. See, now everything's fixed, eh? Yeah? It's done like that. I haven't thought of it. But come on. Anyway. <laughs> come out in there. Thank you. My name is Tony Melo. That's my wife. She's a beautiful lady. Glad to meet somebody who admits he's got one. See, that's a handy little gadget. Gadgets? What do you mean, a gadget? In America, everything that works is a gadget. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm a stranger here. Uh. 
I say, you know, to build up a business like this, it takes, it takes brains. <laughs> brains and hard. Now, here's my private booth. We can drink our tea here without any schnooker. <laughs> Tony, you know, I love your heart. I know. <laughs> and for his son, you bet I go to limp. Thank you. You said, you said in the telephone you wanted a job, is it? Sure. <laughs> well, you bet your life you get it. It's already in your hat. But I checked my hat outside, it was perfect. No, I mean that the... Oh, well, never mind. I'll I tell you about that. Come in and sit down now. Make a present. Oh. Uh, Mr. Hello, Joe. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, fine, except Louie here wouldn't give me a table. Yeah, well, at least maybe afraid you're around here trying to steal some more of my talent. <laughs> Here, sit down here with us. Makes up a nice party. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mello, this is uh, Joe Darrow. He runs the 40 Club. Here, sit next to Mrs. Mello. Ah. Uh, uh, say, Sam. Yes, sir. You uh, tell Eddie to come here, will you? Tell the band to keep on playing without him. They'll never miss him. He's just the leader. <laughs> well, now we drink a toast to the beautiful Mrs. Mellow. Prost. Hello, dear. To the beautiful Mrs. Mellow. Are you a musician, too? Oh, my wife, she's a singer. she got a beautiful talent. Well, uh, have you ever done any cafe work? Yes, in Vienna. <laughs> well, that's a finish. She's my wife now. She does the house work. Huh? Well, even a wife likes to make a little pin money. I buy the pins. <laughs> Diamond pins with the emerald cabbages, no? Cabbages? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eddie. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is Eddie Morton. This is the leader of our band. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Tony Mello. Uh, I arrived from Europe today. Press the flag. <laughs> and welcome to America, the land of the brave and the free. Of course, you're married and not so free. But it must be great to be drinking papa wine this tea. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Stop flying around. Light somewhere, will you? Listen, I want to ask... Uh, Tony, please. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. i tell you what I want you to do. In case you should uh, change your mind, why, look me up. Thank you. Sorry, Pop, but we haven't any vacancies. Well, make a vacancy. I don't think he'd fit. He doesn't understand American music. Well, that's all right. He learns quick, ain't it? I learn already. In America, you lead from the neck down, not up. Now, 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 Tony, you see, there you go. There you go. You twist like your father. You're full of ideas. But now remember, remember the explosion. You put him in your band. You can always find room for a second, another second fiddle. Well, I'll have to hear him play first. Ah, right? you me. The second fiddle, you don't have to play. Anyway, nobody ever hears him. You put him in with your musicians. Go on back to your band now. They can play just as good without you, but they can't start or stop till you wave that stick. <laughs> Guess that'll hold them for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, let's go out someplace. Oh, I must to work. Oh. This is much fun for me. It's nothing to do. When you get a day off, you want to work. Well, why don't you study, Lily? Why don't you sing? What for, unless I can use it? If I could only work, too. Let me tell you something, Lily. In America, everything that works is called the gadgets. Say, I don't want a gadget for a wife. Please go over and borrow Molly's powder for me. Base of powder? Sure. Come! <laughs> what are you doing? Playing pick a boost? Hey, Molly, you don't mind I'm going to bother a little bit, don't you? Well, what is it this time? Sugar or butter? No. This time it's a little powder for the face. No, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not that kind. <laughs> That's for Lily. Maybe someday we're going to learn you something, eh? 
What do you call uh, reciprocation? <laughs> oh, go on. Help yourself and stop apologizing. It's on the bathroom shelf. I got him. Whoops. Hold everything. Hey, that's a nice gadget, sir. Eh? Only five dollars down and five dollars a month removes the spots from before your eyes and takes the moths out of your brain. <laughs> do you want to break your wife's back with housework? Let us do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the powder. <laughs> well, what's on your mind? You no, know, Molly. I'm a little worried about a lily. What's wrong with it? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe she ain't happy. She want to get a job someplace. What's wrong with that? Well, you ain't a married. If Lily she's work, I'm a worker too. Everything goes sour. Tony, get this. There's been more marriages broken up by restlessness than just by a few sour notes in the domestic harmony. If I were you, I'd take her out stepping once in a while. You know, a little hot chap. She'd like that. You'll find a girl. Without you, I don't know what I do. <laughs> yep. I'll see you bye bye. Goodbye, Tony. Here's a pout. Hey, Lily. You like this kind of hot jazz music? Well, I like a little life, a little fun. All right. I tell you what we do. Today, I work. But next week, when she comes, I take you anywhere you like, eh? You and me, we're going to step up together. Okay. <laughs> no, no spill of the power. <laughs> No thanks. Never use them. Well, how about a... No. Uh, what do you know about a girl named uh, Rosa May? Rosa May? Mm hmm That name's very familiar. Used to work here, didn't she? Oh, that girl. Oh, yes. Yeah, so she did. What's happened to her? They fished her out of the bay this morning. We're trying to find out whether she jumped or was pushed off a boat. Either way, someone gave her a raw deal. Poor girl. I haven't seen her for weeks. You used to see her quite often, didn't you? Oh, yes, when she sang here. So you knew her just slightly? Just. Yours, isn't it? My star sapphire. Where'd you find it? On her finger. Well, she must have stolen it because I haven't seen it in weeks. But I'm uh, glad to get it back. Mm, I've no doubt. So long, Dale. You know, you're a pretty smooth article. But one of these days, you're going to bite off a bit of dynamite that'll blow you to hell. And I hope I'm around when it happens. You know, you can't get away with murder all your life. Even if you do it inside the law. Now will you have a drink? Not with you, no. Well, come around and see me again sometime, Highland. In jail, I hope. Oh, don't be that way. Trust me. 
Certainly, that's the trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Everybody's making it. Tony, that's Mr. Darrell. Oh, good evening. Good evening. That's a beautiful place you got here. Well, I'm glad you like it. Sit down. Good evening. You're looking charming. Thank you. Uh, Fred. Break for expenses, will you please? Yes, sir. Well, it's about time that you paid me a visit. Aren't you dancing? Yeah, I don't know much about this hoop to doopsie dancing. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, well, here's how. Hello, Ted. Tony, there's my song. Yes. That's the one you're singing to Vienna. Is that so? I wish I was singing it now, right here. Hey. Better look out, or maybe she's going to talk us both into something, eh? <laughs> well, she wouldn't have to talk much. Uh, to me. Well, here's hoping. Well, wouldn't you like to dance? Oh, may I? Oh, sure. Say, my wife, she's crazy for dance. Will you excuse that? Yeah. Uh, order yourself another drink, if you like. No, thank you. That's too much enough. Your uh, husband's awfully in love with you, isn't he? Yes, I think so. I don't blame him. You're kind of crazy about him, too, aren't you? Of course. Otherwise, why should I have married him? That's what I was wondering. Do you like sapphires? Yes. Why? Well... I have a very fine collection. I'd like you to see them sometime. Oh. Drop in some afternoon, will you? Oh, I'd love to. Why not tomorrow afternoon? I'd like awfully to talk to you. Maybe I could. That's fine. Did you really mean that about the job? Well, I've never heard you sing, but you have everything else, and if you can just get around that husband... I can. That's great. Sorry, Lily, we'll wake you up. Oh, Leo. Leo, Leo. That's all today, children, but here's some cookies for you. Oh, 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 oh. oh careful now, they're hot. Ladies first. Oh, Lily. I'm a sorry, I, I apologize. I send the kids away. Oh, don't bother. I work till all hours and then can't sleep because my husband's clowning around next door. Oh, that's no clown. I was just teaching the kids a little tune I write it for them. Uh, don't be mad with me. Don't be mad with me, Lily. Uh, what's the matter, Lily? Ever since you take that job in the 40s club, you seem to have a change. Maybe you work too hard. Maybe you work too late. Eh? What do you do till 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning? What do you suppose I do? I work. Somebody's got to work in this family. Somebody's got to get ahead. Can't count on you. Wait till I get back to America. Tony Melo, the great conductor. Tony Melo, the great composer. What did you ever compose? What did you ever conduct? A nursery piece for kids. So where do you get this ring? What do you think? I bought it. Where else would I get it? You don't think it's real, do you? I suppose you think some man gave it to me. You're jealous. You're acting just the way you did in Vienna. You too, only worse. That's why I don't want it to work. It seemed to do something to you. Oh.
better? Uh-huh. You want some more? Why not? Why shouldn't I have some fun? Had a girl. I wouldn't let a little spat upset me. Oh, it wasn't a little spat. I was terribly scared about the ring. Put it away, boys. Let's go. Hey, you too. You're in this band. Lucky thing you didn't kill him. So you caught the matter. Oh, no, no, Tony, don't Keep quiet, that. you. Listen, Tony, there was nothing wrong. I told you to keep out of it. I've got a right to talk to him. He's my husband. All right, sister, let's hear what you have to say. I was so upset after our quarrel. I had a little wine, and I guess it must have gone to my head. Mr. Darrell carried me to the couch. Oh, you do believe me, don't you, Tony? Sure. Sure, I believe you. I was a fool. I was a crazy, jealous a fool. Yeah, you're worse than a fool. Now look here. You broke into that man's house and assaulted him. That means assault with intent to kill. One for 14 years in state's prison. And when he comes to, he's going to see that you get it. Uh, don't, don't worry. Don't cry, lady. Don't cry. Now you're one out. It's for you to admit 
that you found him here alone with your wife. No, no, no. Don't you realize that they'll send you up as sure as I'm standing here unless you tell them the truth? I tell them the truth. I was a crazy. I was a jealous of this man for no reason at all, and I tried to kill him. Hey, you got the makings? Hey, vulgar boatman, you got anything to smoke? Sit down to my pillow. Hey, why don't you go in the band and get your mind off of things? Nah. Warden tells me you got a swell spot for you. Second fiddle. Second fiddle. Say, why don't you quit moping? This ain't such a bad joint. You've got nice double front room, good music, and no women. Ah, oh, that's your last one. How do I like to take your last cigarette? That's all right. to the song my my wife used to sing in Vienna. Yeah? What's she singing now? Oh, my sweetie went away. Somebody else moved in. Do you think she's going to wait for you? I tell you. Some of them wait three days, some of them wait three weeks. That's the limit. My wife, she wait 3,000 years. <laughs> Why don't that guy stop with that singing that song? Stop it, please! And you don't know that guy, Mujik. You only like Puccinini. Hey, Tony! Ask the wife. Here's a wife, and she's going away 3,000 years. <laughs> stop, stop, please, stop that song! <laughs> hey, listen, they'll put you in solitary. I Stop it, stop it, see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I don't want to see, I don't care, stop it, I I wish she'd keep away. It only upsets me. I'm trying hard enough to forget it. I can't write to him. What would I say? Why don't you say, having a great time. Wish you were here. Joe, you do love me, don't you? Oh, silly. And you always will. Well, not if you're going to cry and get your little nose all shiny. Smile. I love you. Now smile. I was always thinking uh, my wife should take no interest in my music. But since I'm away, every letter she writes, she asks me to compose. And when, what am I supposed to do about that? I'm going to work hard and make my lily proud of me. You know what that means? 
You're going to have to cut out your bridge and cut out the golf and the polo, <laughs> and you better quit staying out late at night. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do something about that band? I'm going to write the music and teach you those boys to play it. Something can be done with those boys. Yeah, and I know what. But I'm too much of a gentleman to tell you. <laughs> 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 Poor commissary, look, you're behind a few bars. Yes, sir, but being behind bars is just a habit with me. Testa dura. Say, what's the matter, everybody slip? Now, nah, pull them out of some music from the instruments, eh? Uh, where's the best fiddles? He's gone home? Here I am, governor. Right on the dot. Give me, give me the pickle. Stand up. Hey, come here. Come here. Hurry up. You take the pickle. Yeah, you. Go on. Hurry up. Pick on somebody your size. What's the matter? I gotta learn all over again? What do you know about the music? You catch up with yourself in two minutes. Go on. Governor, my old man gave me a thousand dollars to learn to play that double bass. Yeah? What do you do with the money? What's the matter? Let me hear you play this. Come on, play. Hey, you murderer. Anything poisonal in that? Sit down before I get poisonal. That's all right, Styles. He'll be here a long time. He'll learn. Now, boys, I want you to give me all of the music you got downstairs inside of yourself. Hey, what's the matter, you sick? No, I feel all right, thank you. Don't you like my composition? Oh, it's all right. Now, why don't you play? I don't like music. Non le piace la musica, questi bere a faccia di animale, mamma. Now, boys, if you get this right, you're going to love it. Darling, where are you? Hello, dear. Wait till you see what I've got. It's a good thing I went early. The crowds were terrible. But it was a wonderful sale. All French things. Wait till you see these. Aren't they beautiful? My bag. Yeah. I thought it might upset you to pack them yourself. But I don't... I wanted this to go off as quietly as possible. Go... What? Well, you know how I hate scenes. When a thing like this is washed up, why... What's the good of hanging around? It gets messy. Joe, I don't understand. We've never had a word. No. That's why I don't want any now. We've had a swell time. It's lasted as long as these things usually do. You didn't expect it to last forever, did you? But our love. If you wanted that sort of love, you should have stuck to your organ grinder. You know, if you dish it out, you should be able to take it. You can't throw me out like this. I'm not going to throw you out. You're going to walk out of here like a nice, sweet little girl. What's going to become of me? Oh, don't be tragic. You're better off than when you came to me. You have a little money, clothes, jewels. You're a smart girl. You'll find someone else. Thanks, is him. Yeah, you're going to have to have your valet press these tails a little better. <laughs> Say, you going to come hear me conduct? Sure. <laughs> well, come on, Tony. Get your band ready. Uh, the warden wants to see Tony. I guess he wants to see me because I'm going to conduct the music tonight, eh? <laughs> well, maybe so. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Take the next car. 
Hey, if you want me, I'll be here. That's a bigger lad for me, Mr. Randolph. It's even bigger than you think. Island finally put your parole through. You're a free man, Mello. <laughs> you mean... You mean I can... I'm free, I can... I can go? Uh -huh. Wh when? <laughs> Whenever you want to. Catch a nine o'clock train if you didn't have this concert. Yeah, but... Uh, my wife, she... she wait. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Anything you like. Your wife comes first, I suppose, Tony. Huh? Oh, <laughs> bet you like my wife comes first every time, Mr. Randolph. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You better pack your things. The concert will take care of itself. Goodbye. Good luck, Tony. <laughs> She, she, she must come here to get the letter, don't you? Tony! Well, fire, 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 my glasses bring you. Oh, oh. Say, did they tell you the news? No. Well, I'm going out in Bordville. I got a swell oh. job. Pop's going to turn this place over to you. Yeah. Is that a freak or is that a freak? Oh. This is too much. Oh, no, 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 no. That's all right. <laughs> uh, uh, any good house, Tony comes in. That's all right. <laughs> the king is dead. Long live the king. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Oh, look at oh, hello. <laughs> I thought you'd let her here. Sure, to my good friend. Where everybody's good in the time. What the, where is she, Lily? She don't send me her address. Something wrong? I know where she lives, Tony. I'll take it to her. Come on. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to have a big, big, big celebration. <laughs> That's her room. It's hard to wake her up. Poor thing, she's been so upset. She takes things to make her sleep. What do you mean, take things to sleep? What? Oh, the poor thing. You know, she never had no luck. That rich guy gave her a rotten deal. He took her away from her husband and then he kicked her out. Open, open the door, quick. Open the door. Open the door. Sleep all right, Tony. Forever. Come on, beautiful. I, I know it's late, but what of it? Oh, I'm over here at the club sitting at a table thinking of you. Hop <laughs> in a taxi and come on over. 
What are you afraid of? Well, you can come over for a drink, can't you? Besides, I've got something pretty I want to show you. I picked it up in a hock shop this afternoon. Oh, she went out of my life a couple of months ago. No. As far as I'm concerned, she may be back in Vienna or Shanghai or... <laughs> Hey, Tony, you've gone all day again without eating nothing. You're going to be picking them tunes out of the harp if you don't look out. There ain't no rush. You're going to be here the rest of your life. Why don't you slack up a little bit? Who mustn't up this boudoir? What do you think you are at home? Music, dream, I write the march of the soul. On, on, up, up, up to freedom. Ah, oh, Tony. He's in here. Friends of yours, Tony. Tony, hello. Hello. Tony. How are you? I'm fine. Aren't you glad to see your friends? Sure. We've come to hear your big march, Tony. Well, you'll go out and conduct it for them, won't you? You mean you won't? Oh, excuse me. Any eye, old timer? Big load. All by this guy, Deluxe. Brought you some wonderful news, Tony. Who do you think's here? Pukowski. You know the great Pukowski, your old teacher. Not a rise in the car load. If he likes your march, Tony, he's going to play it next season. You want him to like it, don't you? Oh, Tom. I told you, that's the way he's been for weeks. Well, we've just got to do something. I've tried everything. Something in him seems to have snapped. He put everything he had into that piece of music. Nothing seems to get to him. Oh, there, there must be some way. Oh, oh don't let that man get away. Bye. It's just a chance, just an idea. Uh, I've got some news for you, too. Of course, uh, we can't tell how the governor's going to feel, but it's good news that we're getting to him, isn't it? Anyway, it's a 50-50 chance. Hey, you. Get your stolen. All your life you've been looking for a chance, and now that you've got it, you're going yellow. Well, 
Not if I know it. Come here. Look at those boys. They've worked like dogs and they're waiting out there for you. Pekoski, look at that guy. Came all the way up here to see you. And the kid out there, she brought him here. You're not going to let her down. You're not going to let any of them down. You're going out there and lead that band if I have to knock you down and drag you out. I give up. Oh, no, no, don't give up, Tom. my music. They kill my march. They kill music. Frank, Joe, stop. Stop. Please. You kill my music. You kill it. Stop. 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 Stop.